Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to explore some of the basics in doing simple panel data analysis in eViews. So for that, we are going to start with an example and I will build the logic with it. So for that, you have to open eViews and go in uh, the new work file. If you close it, so you can come in from here, file, new, new work file, and then you have to select uh, balance panel data. In there now you need two things first the starting and ending date and number of cross sections so so that eviews can make blocks of the data for each cross section for the starting and ending date so it means uh, what you have to do is that in your excel file you need to make sure that the starting and ending here for each cross section must be same uh, for, so that it becomes a square that each country has equal number of years otherwise what will happen is when you paste the data it will be not be equal and it will give wrong results or even if you import it it will give wrong so wrong output so for that first of all we need to count the number of years we we'll start with adding a new variable which is the id of the country so what i usually do is so here it's country name so I will start with one and write a code that if uh, equal to if this current name is equal to above name then keep the above number otherwise add one in the above number. So this code that I have shown here if the names are equal with the previous one keep the above number otherwise the number plus one. So if I drag it so if you come down you will see how many number of years are here and uh, number of countries 217. So I found out that data has 217 countries and data is from 1960 to 2020. So we'll go in eViews and write 217 and 217 and data is from 1960 to 2020. So this way it will create 217 boxes from this to this. So I'll go back and then just copy the data from country to all my independent variables control shift right and control shift down so when i copy it i will go in eviews go in ops quick empty group edit series move one block up so that i can paste the names so the data is imported if i close it you can see all the variables are imported the the character variables are with abc the numeric data with a graph and constant with b so some values are already there c is a constant intercept if you open it, it is only 0, 0, 0 and when you estimate it, it will become 1, 1, 1, 1. This is the country and there are one variable for residuals. Uh, let me find, this is the date ID, number of years. So first country, first year is 1960. So this way and this is cross ID, identification for each cross section number. So this way you have the data. Now we are going to estimate simple panel data. So I will select so few variables this gdp per capita and fdi so i have three variables and if you want to run uh, panel data you have to right, right click and open open as an equation and you come here so since it's already a panel data you will see a panel data options if it's not a panel data you will not see in multiply by 217 here means there's something wrong when you're importing the data and then you will not see panel data options so in, in panel data options there are two ways you can use uh, fixed uh, so you can use fixed effect or random effect so when you run fixed effect it will, it will run the fixed effect model and then you can also check if it is significant or not you can go here and then if redundant effect text will check fixed effect versus OLS and it is significant means fixed effect is better than OLS and then uh, if you want to go estimate again and go for random effect if you run random effect results will show like this go in the random effect and do Lagrange multiplier it will check random effect versus OLS and it will not be estimated because the variables that the panel data must be balanced for that then when we go towards Hausman test it is significant it means if Hausman is significant, it means fixed effect is better than the random effect model. So it means the fixed effect and random effect are not similar. 
and the fixed effect is more more a few more uh, fixed effect is better uh, because it's consistent in solving the problem so this way we can run now if you have a fixed uh, then the fixed effect model you can also run two 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 way fixed effect by using period fixed and time fixed you run this and then you can check if the period fixed effects are better so all of them are significant it means that uh, two fi two way fixed effect is better than OLS but you cannot estimate two way random or any mixed because it requires balanced panel data and and now when you are estimated the model you can do the diagnostics using normality test it will it says the data is not normal and and then if you want to do um, cross section dependence it will not it's not showing here because of data na nature of the data and serial correlation it will only want for gmm but you can also check other diagnostics using the uh, if you if you can estimate uh, the residuals and then you can check others so when you have estimated this model you can go in object and proc and make residual series so make it residual of model one and this is the new data what you can do is you can go back and then just check the residual one and estimate it so you can go in new object and then residual result zero one as a variable and c and lag of that variable r e s i d zero one minus one so this way you can check that if the lag is significant it means there, there is auto correlation and it, it can also be confirmed from the Durban Watson test of the fixed effect model that we already shown so there is auto correlation in the model other ways are that if you can uh, if you want to check heterosticity, the method is that you have to first of all square, calculate the square of residuals. So, area RESID 01, 012 is equal to 0 01 into RESID 01. So, this way it's a square variable, and then you go in object and generate series, as it 012, and then add independent variables. My independent variable was GDP. EC and, and then FDI. So if they are significantly affecting the square of residuals like GDP per capita, it means there is heteroscedasticity. This test is called Brosh Brosh Pagan Godfrey test, and the articulation test is just a short method to calculate Durban Watson. So this way you can do basic panel data models in EVUs. Hope you understand the basics that how to import the data and how to estimate basic manual data models. Thank you very much.